Hello everyone, welcome to Formula Story. Today I'm going to discuss the formula so as to crack reading comprehension for various competitive exams like GRE, CAT, GMAT, etc. Reading comprehension is a really integral part of most of these exams and it is highly imperative to have a strategy so as to ace up at this section. Trust me people, everyone's gonna solve quant, data interpretation, logical reasoning, but it is reading comprehension where people generally get stuck at because they do not approach it with a proper strategy. And in this video, I'll guide you all through a process which will make reading comprehension really easy to crack. So let's begin. I will be discussing the approach in a step-by-step -step manner. The first step is reading the passage. One piece of advice people, do not look at the questions. It might shift your focus and may eventually lead to loss of comprehension. Now when it comes to reading, read the passage as fast as you can, provided there is no loss of comprehension. The reading time may vary from 1 to 4 minutes depending on the length of the passage. After each paragraph that you read, give yourself 5 seconds and talk to yourself about what the paragraph is trying to convey. Now what does this mean? Take for instance, there is a passage of 4 paragraphs. Now what people generally tend to do is they go on reading paragraph by paragraph without giving enough time to the brain to register the information. Now if you talk to yourself after every paragraph or say a set of sentences in case of a small passage, your brain will form a skeleton of that passage and it will really help to understand the passage better. The second step is reading the question. Read the first question and then give yourself 5 seconds to understand the question. Talk to yourself about what the question is asking, after which identify the key words in the question and keep them in your mind. A word of caution, do not even dare to look at the options, they'll tend to mislead you. Now the third step is searching for the key text. Go back to the passage and find the key text that you identified in the question. Now read one sentence which precedes the key text and one sentence which follows it. It'll basically help in understanding the context. Now give yourself 5 seconds and predict an answer. This is a really really important step. All you got to do here is make a prediction based on the understanding of the passage. It might take some time to master this step, but trust me people, predicting the answer before looking at the option is what will take you ahead of your peers in terms of accuracy. Now once you are done with predicting the answer, the fourth step is eliminating the option. Now it is the time to go to the options and start eliminating them. You have to be really aggressive while eliminating the options and by being aggressive I mean you don't have to settle for an option just because you have a gut feeling that is the answer. An option has to be fully relevant to the prediction you have made for it to qualify as the correct answer. Moreover, always remember that you should never be biased for an option or choose an answer without reading all the options that are given. Sometimes it might happen that you read the first option and you feel that that is the answer and you mark that as the answer without even looking at the other options. This is what the test setters want you all to do, to fall for their trap. Do not do that. Read each and every option and settle for the most appropriate one. Now one thing that might strike your mind is that why do I have to spend those extra 5 seconds in each and every step mentioned? Trust me people, those extra 5 seconds helps in building the comprehension of the passage and will lead to a better accuracy. What people generally tend to do is they read the passage, then go to the question and start hovering around with different options. And when, when they can't settle for one, they just choose one option based on their gut feeling and finally end up with the wrong answer, which leads to loss of accuracy. But that is not what we want. So please follow the steps mentioned religiously and trust me, you will find that you will improve at reading comprehension. So that's it. I hope you like this approach of solving RCs. I'll come up with more examples using this approach to clarify the concept better. Until then, keep practicing RCs. And yes, kindly subscribe to my channel and do like the video and post your comments so that I can improve my upcoming videos.